Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use the animation feature or GIF creator on ABC app. First, you want to start by going to abcapp.com slash animate.htm. Once you're on this page, go ahead and click the Go button. So here we are on the home page for creating an animation. Now, a few reminders for you. Once you are on this page and you started to create your animation, you must finish your animation. You do not have the option of logging in, saving the animation, and going back. However, you can download the file as a .gif file and save it and add or edit your image file in iMovie or some other software. So let's begin. Let's take a look at some of the basics for ABC uh, animations. At the top here, we have the frames bar. You can use up to 100 frames when making your animation. Within the frames bar, we have this box right here. This allows you to click the X to delete a frame or to toggle between frames by hitting these arrows. You can also edit the order of your frames by clicking and dragging the frames. Okay, now let's say you wanted to make an animation that shows step by step. There is a way for you to do that without having to draw your same image over and over again. So let's take a look at that feature. <laughs> let's say we're going to go and draw a flower. So you choose your color, draw it. You also have the option to use images from below here. Let me go ahead and try one of those, one of these pre-made shapes. You can click and drag by hitting the select button here and selecting your in which you would like to move. Oh, oops. You can also undo it by hitting the undo button here if it wants to work, which it doesn't. So I'm just going to delete. Let's try that again. <laughs> Sometimes this site is a little glitchy, so you do need to be patient. Okay. Let's go back to our drawing. Okay. Oops. Don't want that. That's way too much. So, I'm going to delete that. Try this again. Let's say you wanted to show flowers with the leaves and petals starting to grow. So what we can actually do, off to the right here, there's a button that says copy frame. You can go ahead and click this button and it copies everything on your frame. And now we have that same frame again and now we can add. So let's go ahead and do that. Change the thickness out of this. And you can hit copy frame. And of course, oops, we can go and delete things. Like I said, it can be a little glitchy, so just be patient. Okay, copy frame. You're on the petals here. Copy frame. Let's draw a stem. Okay, frame. Now let's explore some of the other features. Okay, what we can do though is let's go take a preview of this here. So we're going to start back at the beginning and we're going to hit play. Oh, see? Oh, you can do. Now, if you wanted to, you can actually drag and move your arrangement if you want. Well, let's explore where the features. On the bottom here, see a picture frame with a image right here. You can actually go and choose clip art to insert. Let's 
go and put some other nice flowers in here. So you can select the Done button. Now let's say you wanted to move this because it's too close. You can hit the Select button here, select your item, now you can click and drag. Okay, let's explore some of the other features. On here we can also change our background. So you can go Edit Background on the top right here and choose a background. Let's choose Forest. Now when you choose the background, all of your frames will have the same background. So there's something to keep in mind. If you do not want all of your frames in the same background, I recommend choosing one um, background by making your own background. Okay, let's look at some of the other features. Let's say we are drawing, we don't want everything on here. We can go ahead and click the clear frame here. Or we can start new, start a completely new animation. Let's explore some of the other tools down below. So I've already shown you the pencil, which is good for drawing with. So you can select that, and we have different sizes for pencils, pencil width, and we can choose color. Then we have a paint. We can even have text here. So you choose your text size, select on your screen where you like to go, and type in here. Now what we want to do is select and move this. Some important things to know about text. Once you have your text there, you cannot go back and edit it. However, you can go and select it and move it to different places. But once your text is there, you cannot go back and edit it. So make sure you know exactly what you want to say before typing it. Worst case scenario, you can always go and select it and hit the delete button. Maybe. <laughs> Usually that works. Some of the other tools. Of course, we have this shapes tool here where you can draw shapes on our presentation. And you could choose different colors for your shapes. Then we have the eraser bar, which we can go in and select erase and drag just like we would with any of your Microsoft Paint drawing programs. Alright, other things we can do on ABC uh, on the bottom right here we can check the speed of animation. You can adjust your frame speed here. I usually use medium um, or slow. However, if your frames are moving still too fast and you would like to adjust them, you can always copy the frame on your frame that you have. Let's go ahead and do that. And slow down things even more. Okay. And now let's go ahead and check what we have. Okay. When we're done, we're going to want to export. So you go File, Export as a GIF. Depending on your internet speed will determine how fast your animations go. Um, I recommend using half or quarter. So let's use half. Hit the continue. And now we wait for our animation to save. And again, one thing I want to point out at this time is once you've created an animation, you have to save it. You cannot go back in, to your image and try again. Also, if you hit the refresh button, your animation will be deleted. So be very careful. Save button. And now, once it's done here, we can save it to any file location we have, like on our computer. For my class, I've saved them to Google Drive to then embed later on into other programs. Makes it very easy. Okay, well, thank you for watching. That is abcia.com.